Welcome back to the show, everybody. Power Rangers Bunga Beast Mode. This episode number. Wait, is that? Yeah, yeah. S S S one two one two three four five six seven eight. Yeah, yeah. Power Rangers Beast Mode. This episode number eight. The Cyber Kick opens. <laughs> I had to make sure I was throwing up his fingers. <laughs> yo, seriously, y'all. Welcome back to the show, everybody. Yo. I, I want to talk about this episode because I can count to one. One, because I only got one word for this episode. One finger up properly. One, elegant. The show so far has done all of these things in its transition of being an adaptation of Go Busters and doing it in a way that makes sense for the adaptation. We talked about this when the, when we found out about the Beast Morphers weaknesses as in the transition from Go Busters to Beast Morphers and, and we're not going to get into that right now but the way that Nate's transition to the Gold Ranger has been handled and finally we're past this and also the introduction was still elegant it was it was real it was real play by the numbers though it's like Rangers take L's new new Rangers come on scene deliver L's you 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 can't you can't get people more over than that. You've also got to appreciate that, and and I came up with this as I was watching the episode. What I like to call the Ziggy construct, and if you're not familiar with Ziggy, go watch some RPM. A similar situation happened to him where he took the Green Ranger powers and became Ranger's Operator Series Green just to avoid so Tanaya couldn't. In this instance, what I definitely appreciate as a very important part, and I know that it's been playing a part, but and will continue to. Nate's way of sitting up here and using this noodle because everything ain't fisticuffs, baby. Everything ain't throwing a punch. Everything ain't throwing a kick. Everything ain't shooting a shot, even though the Rangers literally got shot. Rangers got shot. <laughs> Seriously, seriously, for real. I, 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 had, I had a boom, a boom by throwback when it happened. Like, I I don't think I've ever seen in a Power Rangers episode ever where the Rangers actually take shots. They were fine afterwards. Like, nothing happened to them, but bang, bang, bang. Rangers took shots. You have to take those orchestrated L's because that's what we call that in the business. That's what we call that in the laboratory. These are what what the L that were taken by everybody who took an L this episode. Those were orchestrated L's because the episode's job is to get over Nate, to get over Steel in a less degree, but to really get over Nate because now you got to get him over this hump. Because see, we already knew this whole time that yeah, a he was gonna become the Gold Ranger. B he always wanted to be a part of the action because of how important Nate is. But see now Nate gotta get in the field. So I wonder how com I wonder how Commander Mommy's gonna handle that. That's that's gonna be interesting. I really think that, you know, given the end of the episode, is that she taking it pretty well. Like, yo, yo, your most important asset is now finna go out here and go deliver L's to food. And she's like, well okay, fine, that's cool. But again, reminder these or this, depending on what side you like your L's delivered on. L's got delivered. L's got delivered. If you were a ranger in a red, blue, or a yellow suit, you took you the massive L. Like, give, given that we talking about Young Juice, we talking about the boy Robbie and Zoe Case. I'm surprised the massive amounts of L's near the end of that episode they had to take to get over that Nathan Steele going to run out there and put the work in. I really think that that was an unconcentrated level of L's that were taken in that particular scope to get over the point. Like, yeah, we know, we know Nathan Steele for to come out there and save the day. We know this. But why are the Rangers taking these massive L's to get this point over? I'm just saying, like, I understand that, you know, for the sake of the narrative or whatever, because, again, as someone who watches this stuff and does it all the time, as soon as they, as soon as I start putting together that, yo, it's that time, and that was weirdly that the Rangers been taking L's all day, I'm just kind of like, well, 
that's a little excessive. Just a little bit. Just a little, a little, the L's were a little bit excessive. In the state thereof of the concentrated level of the losses that you're currently taking in order to forward your narrative. I know they went over everybody in their mama head, but it's okay. I, I know I know my usual people, they know what I mean. We we study L's around here if you didn't know. We we we, we have a, a church where we pray to the L God. We we have a science a literal science division dedicated to studying L's and dichotomizing them for human consumption so you can understand it and you knew. And we also pray to the L God that we stop taking L's and, you know, throw the doves up and stay winning, but that's another thing. We, 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 well, El guy gonna get his praise later. Don't worry about that. El guy gonna get the praise because I got something. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm like, I'm waiting for it. But anyway, my only thing is, okay, Pram Mantis and we got the Stag Beetle. So, you know, because they were both Beetles. So for. Nate to, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, you're praying madness now. I guess that's the way to flip it because, you know, that's the whole thing about, you know, beetles, like multiple types of beetles, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm supposed to, at this juncture, make a reference to Kamen Rider Kabuto, but because we're talking about Power Rangers, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. If you're interested in, interested in the Kamen Rider universe, Kabuto's a good place to start. It's extra stupid. It's extra stupid in a magical way that things are stupid. You get to the end, they make less sense than when they did, but you enjoy the ride of the nonsense about how stupid that a show can go because it's a technical anniversary show. So, there you go. Cast off. Any, any, any. So, let's make sure, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, because I'm trying to keep this short and sweet today, that, that we making sure that we that we knocking down all the blocks. Um... You know, you know what? Actually, we're not going to do that because see, I'm saving that for later. I will real quickly just insert here before we get to this later. Shout out to Betty. Shout out to Betty Cakes and little brother Betty Cakes Young Ben saving the day. They like, yo, Nate got snatched up and we lost our thing in the streets. Like, hey, heads or tails with this expensive technology. Oh, we can go save Nate now. Cool. Cool. You, you know what? You know what? Actually, you know what? Let's talk about it. This because I, I was like, my thing was when I sat down and knew I was going to review this episode, I didn't know whether or not I really wanted to take on the Jen Masato beat J Stag thing versus what Nate and Steel could possibly do. Here's the thing given this one episode, I already see. Okay. How do I explain Jen Masato's importance in Go Busters without spoiling how important he is to Go Busters? I don't think I can. But I'm going to try, though. I'm going to try. What Jen Masato represents to the Go Busters is nowhere near and probably will never get to the level of how Nate is a part of this team. Is that I'm not gonna sit up here and stream the word emotional content because Beast Morphus is finna do things way differently with this, and you can already tell. It's like it's a lot of things that because of the footage that they have of trying to adapt this thing, that yeah, it's gonna be some things. It's like still personality, it's like yeah, he 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 own a hundred thousand million on swag. He he sits up here like that's just what it is, and that's and that's mostly invoking BJ Stagg, but but when you think about Jay, because again, I'm trying not to spoil a show for you. When you think about Jay, the reason why Jay was the way he was was because that's the way he was. Is that and it worked in the confines of because the relationship between between Jen and Jay was more of the funny man and the straight man. And that was what their thing. And that's what they brought to a show like Go Busters. Especially because Go Busters was more about what it was. You needed that injection of that swag and that jokiness that they brought to the table. Still just going to talk a whole bunch. And he going to need Nate to sell it all. Because 
Nate's the brain. Nate's the brain of the situation. So, you know, he up on game. You got still, he just sitting up here like, yo, I'm the swag 100,000 million. And, and that's okay, too. So, again, you can't compare one to the other because I want to sit down and make that comparison. But when I took three and I have my fingers right, three actual seconds to really think about it, those are not going to be the same thing. So, I don't think you don't have that anywhere to worry about. For, for, for all my people who didn't watch Go Busters already and already know the deal, to try to make that comparison, I really think you'll have a lot of similarity, but I I really definitely don't think the show is really going to go to the level of what Goldbusters did when it comes to that type of stuff. So I don't think you have that to worry about. I got to say, you know what I'm saying again, and I will say this one more time just to illustrate my point. Those were some orchestrated plot level L's to get over both Nate and Steele. And the show did a great job of getting them over and, and, and making sure that it was so dire that the Rangers taking multiple L's. Rangers got shot. They got shot. They got shot for real to get over Rangers. And it's like, well, yeah, I suppose. Okay. I, I'm going to stop talking now. I'm, I'm going to stop. Because we, we need to, we, I need to get you out of here. You need to get on with your Saturday. Have a good day and all of that. But we can't leave. We we cannot leave without giving praise to the L God because L God done blessed two episodes in a row. Two of them. L God, I thank you for drowning Betty Cakes in ice cream. First you had Betty Cakes jumping out of cake. Now Betty Cakes is covered in ice cream. L God, you always know what we need when it comes to cake in these streets. And I want to thank you so much for covering Betty Case and all that goodness. Cause... <laughs> Me gusta. So L God, continue to make sure that we stay winning and we never losing out here. And that because you provide us with Betty Case and Betty Case popping out of case or being covered in ice cream, it isn't an L. But we win it because we get to visualize it and have it always. Again, L. God, thank you for covering Betty Case and Ice Cream. And I pray to you that we continue to stay winning. In your name always. Amen. 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 There we go. Got to give praise to Got to give praise to the L. God. L. God deliver. He covered Betty Case and Ice Cream, bro. Just saying. He did that. For me and for you. Get, get that praise. Get that praise to the L guy. Get that praise. Because we winning. We winning because Betty Casey covered in ice cream, bro. She she also did like um that Donkey Kong Country 1 thing where you run on a barrel. But that was kind of dope. But it's not being covered in ice cream, bro. Forever. 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 So, before we get up out of here, let's review Kids, today's word of the day, elegant. This was an elegant and proper way to handle the introduction of your gold and your silver rings. Nate finally gets what he always wanted the whole time, that he gets it on multiple levels. He becomes the ranger, he gets a best buddy droid friend who also turns into a ranger because, you know, and, and I love this because I was waiting for this. The only reason Steel is able to become a ranger is because not only is he fused with the beetle DNA, but also the DNA of Nate, which makes the whole brother thing. But you would have thought before that you was part of the squad, man. You are brother. Keep it in the family. Between brothers, y'all. Between brothers. Brothers. See, I, I can do my own secret handshake by myself. Mm, 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 Just like that. So... It was, again, that was an elegant way to take care of that. You got over the characters properly. I still believe that there were too many L's taken by the Rangers to get over this point. So I do wonder, you know what I'm saying, like when it's time for Megazord to start dropping out the sky, is how is the show going to handle this? Probably the same way they handled this. The one thing we didn't talk about and all of the stuff we didn't talk about was how Squazzle how Blaze and how Roxy got out, got out foxied, well in this case out golded by Nate, like and again, I appreciate that like more than you ever know that, that yeah, 
that you had to sacrifice a little bit of, of Roxy swag juice to get it because all Blaze do is take massive L's. He just he just recently start winning like last week or something. Like and Scrozzle, he been winning. But he needed to be taken down a couple pegs because you need to take an L for this. So everybody had to take L. Evox was halfway through. He took an L. Man, they just ran up there. Bah, 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 just dump it. Just dump it. You ain't getting out the cyberspace. You were not the super. No, I'm not finna sing the Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad thing song. Stop, brain. We're not doing that. Not proper. Not right now. No. No, stop, damn brain, stop it. Stop, we gotta get these people out of here, man. These people got stuff to do. What was that? Who was saying something really intelligent and I just forgot? Oh, wait, I remember. Oh, Scrozzle and Squadron took L's because... We really got to get over that, that Nate has done something truly great and not only becoming a ranger himself, but also for still to exist and for all the things that this represents. In other news, the relationship between Jen Masato and BJ Stagg will not mirror in this show. It can't because it would make no sense. So, just don't worry about that. The show is going to figure that out somehow. Because there are a lot of things about the relationship between Jen Moffato and BJ Stagg that this show could never do because it's on Nickelodeon. Spoilers. So, there you go. There's a lot that this can't do. But I really think that the base relationship between Jen and Jay are going to show up because... It kind of has to because of the footage they're using. It happened in this episode where, where, where Jen, like I, I like when I saw the scene being being replayed in front of me with Nate and Steele. I remembered when that happened when when Jen and Jay showed up and he and Jen moved and Jen oh Jen moved Jay head out the way and just shit. Wow, I remember that. And it's like that's fine and that's great. That they are to a degree kind of, you know, in the mix with that. But I really don't think that when we get to deeper levels of, maybe. There is one instance where I see we're still maybe able to get some shine that may mirror Jen and Jay. But that just all depends on the plot of this show and where it's ultimately going to lead to. But we'll see. Betty Cakes jumped out of cake and then got dubbed in ice cream. Amen. I don't know what else you want from me, man. It's an episode. L got taken by everybody. L got taken by everybody. And I'm like, even Betty Cakes and little brother Betty Cakes took the L when they flipped that thing and it fell on that truck. But then that got flipped, switched to a W. But that's more of, you know... Just the sake thereof to get Nathan Steele over. So, I appreciate that. That's real dope. That's real hocus pocus. You the dope and stuff. But look, though. We have got plenty of more show for you. And I mean, when I mean plenty of show, I mean plenty of show for, for reasons that, you know, that people watching this fight don't hear about. Can't just spectacular. Just like that. Yeah. That, that's all I'm saying. But for my, for my people that come through, they, they know what's up. I'll probably make a separate video to explain what's going on and why if... If need warranted, but we'll see. Huh? Oh, no, no, don't mind me. I was looking at something. Look, we have got more show for you. Please, please sit back, relax, and stay tuned. Yo, I am, of course, the one and the only trip of the G.O.D. Yo, Squish, Murder, and the Squadron. And, uh, and yo, I, I'm like, this is probably the perfect video. Um, if you look all the way back, we got two new friends in the back. Um, we we got um we got um we got the brown rabbit, that's G.O.D. rabbit, and the white one, that's that's the um that's clean rabbit right there. You, if anybody can put that together, you know what I'm saying. But I just wanted to let y'all know if you didn't notice, for all my normal folk that come through, it's some more people back there with Squish Murder holding down the congregation. Once more, Amen. Thank you for Betty Case covering the nice trip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anywho, yeah, I told you I sit back, relax, and stay tuned. I'm of course the one on trip of the G.O.D. We did that part. Squish murder in the squadron. G-O G-O-D bunny. Queen bunny. Holding the streets down. You know what I'm saying? Air of the whole crew down there. You know what I'm saying? Sheila, you still good over there? Sheila says she's fine. 
Okay, um, what else? Oh, Betty's on vacation right now. Betsy's on vacation right now. I'm like, it's a long story, but Betsy's on vacation. She needed a little break, you know what I'm saying? So she she went, she, she, she's in Tahiti right now. I'm like, you know, she earned enough sick time to be like, yo, I want to take a trip. And I'm like, well, fine. I don't know how I'll do it without you, but I'll manage the best way I can. She should be back sometime this week. Um, and, of course, Janine holding us down on the one, two, threes, and the fours, baby. Holding it down, bringing this. Bringing this C-R-A-C-K-C-O-C-A-I-N-E straight to you because, you know, I'm entertainment's number one dope man. All I do, and all we do around here is stay winning. We, we never lose. See, we even turned them into ducks. <laughs> but seriously, yo, we have got plenty of more show for all of you, and we've got it for you right after these. Bang. Wait for it. Wait for it. Commercial messages. <laughs> Hey, it feels so good to be back. But seriously, y'all, more show right after these commercial messages. 